What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. I am your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, aka Mental Illness from TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I'm a little bit everywhere, y'all. If this is your first time seeing me or hearing me on my podcast, my name, uh, <laughs> I am a diagnosed narcissist. I have narciss narcissistic personality disorder. I've been in psychotherapy for the last four years, almost four years, October 2017. And the point of my entire platform is to bring awareness to personality disorders, mental health issues alike, and to get more people into therapy if that is possible. And in the process of all that, validate the victims and survivors of narcissistic abuse. Because, you know, sometimes you're not crazy. Sometimes it's not you. A lot of times it's not you, especially if you're dealing with a narcissist. Today's episode is going to be about do narcissists love their children? I've been tagged in a video on TikTok like a hundred times, y'all. Like literally a hundred. I've never been tagged in a video this much. And it, it, it it's a, uh, a lady on TikTok saying, she's pretty much just saying, I think she's just a therapist or whatever, that narcissists do not love their children. Which is, you know, which is a pretty much a blanket statement. It just encompasses that all narcissists can't love their children. Which kind of, I, The blanket statements do get on my nerves, y'all, because I am a narcissist. I know a lot of times if you listen to my podcast and my YouTube, I'm always saying them or the narcissist, or sometimes I'll say me or we. Um... But because I hate, I like, I don't like the blanket statements. I am a narcissist. I'm still 100% a narcissist, and I don't like to be associated with the bad parts of narcissism. But here we are. I'm always, I, I do because I'm a narcissist. People automatically think I'm a bad person and all the other good stuff. You know what I mean? But as far as kids go, I love my kids, y'all. I do love my kids. I, I cherish my kids and everything like that. Um, even before therapy, I love my kids. I would do anything for my kids. Like I just would. You know what I mean? But do I have do I have trouble empathizing with my children? Do I have trouble putting my, myself in their shoes and you know not being selfish when it comes to my kids? Yes, one hundred thousand percent. Yes, I do. You know what I mean? I just do. Like when I'm talking, when I'm dealing with my kids or I'm dealing with my my children and things like that, I do. Be typically, I do become you know just a different person. I just because I'm a lot to deal with and things like that. I just I just am. You know. Um, and I'm selfish with my time and stuff like that. So becoming a parent was one of the toughest things to do with me. Um, one of the toughest things I've had to do because, you know, I'm a narcissist and like I'm egotistical and I don't like to put other people first. But even like even now, I don't think I, I could I could do a better job of putting my kids first. Even now, even right now in this moment, four years into therapy, I could do a lot better job of putting my kids first. And I always ask people like people like do narcissists love their kids? I always ask them, how are they treating you? You know, what I mean. How is, how how is that narcissist treating those kids? How is it? Are, are they treating them like they love them? Are they there for them? Do they care about them? Are they wipe? Are they do they help them when they cry and stuff like that? If they're not doing that, then no, they don't love those children. If they abandon those kids like like they're nothing and go play stepdad or stepmom to somebody else, do they love their children? No, those narcissists do not love their children. I will I will I will stand behind that one right there. But the ones that stand and fight. And try to be decent human beings because they're not all narcissists are the same, y'all. That's the point of my entire platform to show you that not all, not a hundred percent of narcissistic people are bad people. Like there is, there is big self-aware narcissist groups on on Facebook and things like that that I was a part of. That you will see that not all narcissists are bad people. These people are here trying to live better lives and stuff like that, but they are scared to come out and say that they are narcissists because you know people are going to judge them and you know hold it against them for being a narcissist, hold their personality disorder against them. So yeah. But in my own personal case, like, and this is what I've seen before before my diagnosis, before I got diagnosed uh, as as a narcissist, I seen I saw this right here, the, the fact that narcissists see kids, see children as reflections of ourselves. So if we look in that mirror, that that kid mirror, that narcissistic mirror that is our children, if we look into that mirror and we like what we see, the narcissist will cherish and take care of that kid and. and up that kid and hey this is my son right here this is my daughter she because he's doing good got a good grade on that test my daughter's smart just like me you take credit for all the accomplishments you take credit for all the accomplishments that, that that kid accomplishes in life and things like that because it makes you look good it makes you feel better about yourself so yes in those situations you know and i know you people might listen to this and say oh that's not love that's just you know that's attachment or wh whatever that's what whatever i know i know people are going to say things you know what I mean? but in the different situations and you have to deal with narcissists you know what I mean? Kids are going to, you know, kids are going to be kids. And like, if that kid is, like I said, if a narcissist looks into that mirror that is that child and likes what they see, they're going to be there for that child a little bit more. And I guess that's where the, the golden child, the scapegoat comes in and whatnot. That's when you get to the, in those situations right there where the narcissist does have a favorite child a lot of times. You see that too. You see and hear that a lot where a narcissist does have a favorite child that 
you know, they look up to. If you ask my wife, she would say, she would tell you that my oldest son is my is the golden child because that's my firstborn, um, whatnot. And like he's been with me from the beginning. He's literally been with me from the beginning of my, you know, since, you know, he's 13 years old. He's been with me before therapy. He's been with me. Um, he's been with me before therapy. He's been with me after therapy. He's just been with me just point blank period from the beginning. And, you know, internally, I sometimes I feel bad because I treated him, you know, badly before I was diagnosed. I still, I mean, I can do better now. I'm doing better now. But, like, before I was diagnosed, I did treat my son. No, I wouldn't treat him the best. I would yell at him, scream at him. You know, if he wasn't doing his homework correctly, I would yell and scream at him and pick on him and stuff like that. Because I wanted him to be a good reflection of me. And I know people are going to harp on me and talk junk about me and stuff like that. But, I, like, if I wasn't going, if I wasn't going to be honest with my experiences, then there's no point of me doing this channel and things like that. So yeah, I could have treated my son, but I do it now. You know what I mean? But I'm still selfish with my time now. It's, it's still hard for me to empathize with my kids right now. Cause like my kids, like my younger son, when he's crying and stuff like that, you want him to, to toughen up and because I don't, I don't fully understand the emotional range that people have. The kid, the kids have. So my son is crying or whatever. I'm just like, look, it just gets on my nerves sometimes. Like the sounds, I'm like, why are y'all crying? Why do we have to cry? You know what I mean, if y'all, like, and I get to blame my kids. I know some narcissists will blame them, their kids for holding them back. If I didn't have kids, I had a lot more free time. Or I had a lot more, I could do my job better. I could, you know, I'd be more successful if I didn't have kids, you know. And they'll use that as, a, they'll use it as an excuse. They'll use it as a crutch for their entire existences. You know what I mean? For the simple fact, because it's, because they can, you know, because they, you can use it. When you were dealing with a narcissist, they will use that as an excuse for the rest of their existence. Like, I, I would have been successful. I would have had kids. I had kids too early. You know, kids held me back and things like that. And you pass, like, you pass, like, this is one thing I, I'm big on to y'all. I don't want to pass my failures on to my kids. I don't want to pass my fears on to my kids. I have a lot of fear. You know what I mean? And I think one, another thing, let me hark back, y'all. I think another thing that helps me be a better parent is the fact that, you know, I have an internal, internal, is going to I don't know where I can use this hatred. I have an internal hatred for my own dad. And I want to be better him in every way. He was a terrible father. So I just like, I'm going to be a good dad. Point blank, period. You can't tell me I don't love my kids. And that's why I have a soft spot when people come at me and just like, you don't love your kids. I see it all the time. The narcissists don't love their kids. I'm like, look, call it call it what you want to. I love and care about my kids. I'll do anything for them. I'm trying to be successful for them. I'm trying to be a better person because of them, because of my kids. If I didn't have kids now, if I didn't have my wife right now, I wouldn't be where I am right now. And don't take that. If you're listening to this and trying to find something to hold on to your relationship with a narcissist, don't take that. No, don't, don't listen to that right there. Don't value yourself based on that sentiment right there. Like maybe if I try harder, He'll change. Nope, don't do that because they won't change based on that. They just won't. They, they, sometimes it's not. It has nothing to do with you for a narcissist to change. It has nothing to do with those kids for a narcissist to change. It has everything to do with the narcissist inner dialogue, inner monologue, inner conversations with their like, inner conversations with ourselves. Because like you cannot go for you cannot blame yourself for a narcissist not changing. Don't attach your value for a narcissist not changing. Don't don't attach your kids' values to a narcissist not changing. You just don't want to do that. You don't want to get caught up in that dynamic right there because that is a very, very tough dynamic to deal with right there in that situation. You know what I mean? You don't want to get caught up in it because it, it's tough. It really is tough dealing with a narcissistic person that, you know, you feel like doesn't care about their kids. And like I said, I just feel like the blanket statement saying all narcissists don't love their kids kind of puts people in untenable predicaments too. Because imagine you thinking that no, that narcissist doesn't love your kids, but you got to co-parent with them. You got to drop the kids off at your narcissist house that doesn't love them. You know what I mean? That makes you, I mean, that make me, you spend the whole weekend, instead of the weekend having be having a little freedom, you spend the whole weekend like, oh my God, my kid, I had to drop my kids off with this psychopath that doesn't love them. How are they treating their kid? You know what I mean? Just based on how they treat it. Because a lot, a, lot, a lot of them don't. I'm not saying that all narcissists care about their kids and love their kids or all narcissists don't. I just don't like the blanket statement because you, when you put the blanket on top of that statement, when you just wrap everybody up in that blanket of narcissism, everybody makes it seem like all narcissists are the same. That like that statement, you know, I see it and I I haven't responded to that video on TikTok because I can't respond to it in a good way. So I just decided to make a long video on YouTube about it at the last minute. You know what I mean? Like narcissists don't love their kids. They can't empathize, whatever. I mean, it's tough it's tough to empathize. It's tough to empathize with your kids and put yourself in your kids' shoes because like me personally, you know, I had to grow up faster than what I know because my I feel like my son is like I sometimes I feel like my son is behind in development because he's not where I was at his age. You know, I was like, he was he's not as like as emotionally mature as I was at that age because he hasn't had to skip any st stages of emotional development. He hasn't had to go through arrested. He hasn't had to go through arrested development. 
He hasn't had to do that. He hasn't had to grow up faster to be a big, big. He hasn't had to grow up faster to be a big brother or slash dad to his younger brothers and stuff like that. He hasn't had to be the man of the house at eight, nine, ten years old. He's had a chance to be a kid, and I have to look at that now, and it kind of bugs me. Hey, but it, that does bug me. I'm just telling you the stuff that bugs me. I'm like, I feel like he's not as emotionally mature as I was. And I'm just like, why do you keep wanting to do this kiddie stuff? Because I was doing adult stuff at 12, 13 years old. You know, not drinking and smoking stuff like that. I was just like, you know, cooking for my cooking for my little brothers. And stuff like that, watching my little brother when my mom was at work and things like that. So I had to, that's that was my vibe right there. You know what I mean? That was the vibe that I had to experience right there. Was was that right there? So that's why I tell people like, how are they? How is that narcissistic person treating those kids? Like, is, are they treating them like they love them? Are they treating them treating them like they care about them? If not, then yeah, go, take take action accordingly. You know what I mean? Man or woman, whatever. You know what I mean? Just take act, take the correct action. Take the take take the right action. When you when you're trying to co-parent with a narcissist, because like I said, you get caught up in that situation, like thinking you, like it, it'll drive you crazy thinking you have to drop your kids off with somebody that doesn't love them and care about them. It just will, well, one hundred percent. You know what I mean? And like we, that's what we deal with now. That's what I deal with now. Like I say, it's hard for me to. If I love my sons and my daughter. It's hard for me to empathize with them though. Like, it's hard for me to put myself in my kids' shoes, for lack of a better word. You know, I'm just like, how do I, how do I, how, how do y'all think like this? And I want my kids to be the best possible version of themselves because that reflects the best possible version of me. Like, hey, Lee is a good dad. Look at his kid. Look how his kids turned out. And that's how a lot of narcissists will do. And even like, so even if a narcissist is not being a good parent, they will pretend on social media that they are a good parent. Y'all, just to let you know, a lot of times, you know, I have people like that put like because they'll go on and steal pictures from the significant from the uh, like baby mama or baby daddy's page or whatever. They're gonna steal pictures. And use them like they like they took them. So I had people put watermarks on pictures so you can't steal them. <laughs> Mama took this. Mama bought this. Stuff like that to keep the narcissist in check. You know what I mean? And things of that nature. Like so, yeah, I do love and care about my kids. I'm doing everything for my kids. I go to therapy for myself, but it is also to help me be a better parent and a better father father figure, and to just be better overall for my kids in general because they they deserve it. You know what I mean? That your kids deserve to grow up better than you did. And like you know what I mean, because I so I love my kids. I just I have trouble empathizing with my kids because I, I I do I'll you know I try my hardest to be a better parent for my kids. You know what I mean? That's what I do. That's all. That's what I try to do, and that's what that's my goal is to continuously do that because it helps me be a better human being. It helps me be a better person. You know what I mean? So that's why that's my goal. I'm going to continue to do that for the rest of my life because that's you know. That's my legacy. I want to leave a legacy. That's all. That's all about narcissists leaving legacies, and my kids are going to be, you know, part of my legacy. I'm gonna create my. I'm gonna create my own. I'm gonna create my own legacy, but my kids are gonna be a big part of it as well. You know what I mean? So big time, big time, big time. Anyway, y'all, I know I've been rambling and babbling on and stuff like that, but like I get, I get passionate when I talk about the kids or whatever because I get a lot of people in these self aware narcissist groups that, you know. They fight. They be fighting to be good parents, and they just like the empathy part is tough. You know, being a narcissist and having low empathy is tough to, you know, empathize with your kid. Like I said, just watch my son like at thirteen do stuff that I was doing. You know, he's doing he, he's doing stuff at thirteen. I was doing. I was ten or eleven, and I'd be realizing I was like, okay, because he he hasn't had the experience the rest of development. He's had all his developmental stages appropriately. Where I didn't, like I said, I had to grow up faster than what I was supposed to. So I had a rest. I experienced the rest of development where I became. I had to become a mini adult faster than what normal people do. You know what I mean? So that was the experience that I had to endure when I was growing up. So I'll probably do another video on the rest of development here pretty soon. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Like, yes, I do love and care about my kids. Not all narcissists do, but not not all narcissists don't. Just, you know, the spectrum. There's people lower on the spectrum like me. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really truly appreciate y'all. Mental illness is... Wait, 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 wait. Before, before y'all go, like and subscribe. Please, please like and subscribe. I need you. I love you. I love y'all. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. Peace.